your question, sir. Oh, well, since I, apparently I, I, I answered the, uh, your last question with a question of my own, I'll, I'll make it my question to you. I'm very keen to know how it is that you, in a sense that you dare to say that without a belief in religion, I would have no source for ethical or moral It's not what beliefs. I'm saying. You seem to hint at it. No. D did he not? No. Oh, I'm not saying you don't know morality, Christopher. I'm saying you can't justify morality without a being beyond yourself. So that, just to, if I, okay, good. Um, so that if I say that for me it's enough to be willing to love my fellow man and perhaps hope that my fellow man and woman will give me some of the same consideration in return. And that, um, after all, uh, the, the Samaritan, of whom we've all heard, uh, was the only one to help after the priests and the Levites had passed by. And the Samaritan also, though he's talked of by Jesus, can't have been a Christian because he appears in a story told by Jesus, so there can't be any Christianity before that. Somehow, he knew the moral thing to do is to help his fellow person without a religious instruction. Yes, that's And that that's actually the whole point of the parable, though it's not the way it's usually told. And that's what Christianity teaches. You know morality. It's written on your heart. You don't need the scripture to know right from wrong. And this was only available to us 2,000 years ago. No, no. You've known it from the beginning of time. Conscience has been on humanity from ev forever. You'll have That's to let me point. press you a little bit on that. I mean, William Ewart Gladstone spent a huge amount of his life, and he was a great scholar of Latin and Greek, showing that every one of the Greek uh, Socratic and other moral precepts, all they were were just prefigurations of Christianity. These, these are the best the Greeks could do before Jesus arrived. But no, the, no, 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 no. Because I don't agree he with couldn't that. face the idea that these solidarities and moralities and understandings are innate in people and don't require divine permission. I just have to ask you, if you could do it plainly, which side do you come down on? Do you think we need divine permission to act humanly to each other? No, it has nothing to do with permission. It has to do with the ontological category known as morality. Where does morality come from? Does it come from the benzene molecule, the carbon molecule, the oxygen molecule? In your worldview, where does it come from? Suppose that we were having this discussion before the existence of molecules was understood. It's irrelevant. No, it's not, because the, the discussion about where does the good come from was being conducted before Lucretius uh, developed the atomic theory, uh, before um, Democritus and Epicurus, I should better say, understood that the whole world was made up of atoms and molecules. Before that was known, people were arguing, why do we behave one way uh, to our fellows, and we call it good, and, and another way, and we call it wicked. Because it's written the molecular, on... The, you can't, I don't think you can build in a molecular distraction to that, this. That's, it's, I'm not, I don't have the molecular problem. You do. So you're a materialist. I'm trying to ask you, where does morality come from in a materialistic worldview? Well, did I not just acquit myself of that charge and say that the argument precedes the knowledge of the atomic and molecular structure? No, it universe? doesn't. No, not it, that I think, by the way, that the atomic and molecular structure is irrelevant. And it could be that we might find out that there are, who knows, pheromones or, this, or, or other phenomena that do have an influence on our moral conditioning. Uh, this still wouldn't, to a morally normal person, relieve them of the responsibility of saying that I, I feel I know what's right. I feel that some of the things my children don't need to be told, they already know. Let me, let, me, let me interject here and just ask a question another way. Do you Whereas to tell a child, you're, you go to this church, which means you'll go to heaven, but your little playmates don't go to that church and therefore will go to hell, seems to me to be an unpleasant thing to be saying. But yes, that I'm, is. Maybe I'm in a minority then. That could be an unpleasant thing, but how do you develop... Actually, an evil thing let's, to be saying. Let's that's call it evil, only, Christopher. That's only a religious person would dream of saying. Let's call it evil. Where does evil come from? Religion. <laughs> and and to, are... answer, to answer your next question, morality comes from humanism and is stolen by religion for its own purposes. Humanism according to who? Hitler, Mussolini, Stalin, who? You're saying that Hitler was a humanist? Just Hitchens. <laughs> I've lived to hear it said. Hitchens. At, in Virginia. 
Hitler was a Catholic. A so human. A Hitler human. Hitler was a Catholic. A so Hitler was a Catholic. Give, so was Mussolini. Give me a how. How does morality exist both of them if it's just a, my opinion against them, your opinion and there's no standard Both of them had an official political no concordat with the Protestant and Catholic churches. Both of them wanted the worship of themselves as well as of uh, God. So I suppose no evil comes and from atheism. Third, and their third main ally, uh, Hirohito, the emperor of Japan, not content just to be theocratic, was himself a god. So anyone who says that fascism and Nazism were secular is an ignoramus Why is it on wrong? a gigantic scale. I'm, I'm asking an ontological question. I'm, I'm not, not going asking to be called a, a Hitlerite because I'm a humanist. Okay? I'm not asking a sociological question. All right. 